Welcome to our channel. Tonight we delve into the realm of the mysterious and the cursed objects that carry with them a legacy of misfortune and dread. These artifacts, steeped in legend and shrouded in darkness, have left a trail of fear and tragedy in their wake. Prepare yourself for a journey into the unknown, where history and horror intertwine. As we unveil these tales of terror, remember, some doors are meant to stay closed, and some objects are best left untouched. If you dare to venture further, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any new tale. Now, let us begin. First item I need to mention here is the infamous Crying Boy painting, an artwork that has left a trail of fear and destruction in its wake. Created by the Italian artist Giovanni Bragolin, the Crying Boy painting features a young boy with an expression of deep sorrow, tears streaming down his cheeks. At first glance, it seems like a simple portrayal of a child's despair. But behind those eyes lies a chilling tale. During the 1980s in the UK, a series of mysterious house fires occurred, leaving families in ruin. Yet amidst the charred remains, one item was often found eerily untouched by the flames. The Crying Boy Painting Firefighters and investigators were baffled as reports grew of this seemingly cursed artwork surviving infernos. The first reported case involved Ron and May Hall of Rotherham. In 1985, their house was destroyed by a fire that started in the kitchen. The entire home was reduced to ashes, except for one painting hanging in the living room, The Crying Boy. Experts and skeptics tried to debunk the myth. It was suggested that the paintings were treated with a fire-retardant varnish, explaining their survival. Yet, the reports of unexplained accidents, mysterious illnesses, and the devastating fires continued to mount. One family in Nottingham experienced a fire that gutted their home shortly after they acquired the painting. The blaze started inexplicably in the middle of the night. The father, Peter Hall, recounted how the painting remained undamaged while everything else was destroyed. Another family reported their child suffering from constant nightmares and inexplicable illnesses until they removed the painting from their home. The fear became so widespread that people began to destroy their copies of the painting, hoping to break free from its malevolent grip. But even destruction brought no peace. Some claimed that burning the painting led to increased misfortunes, as if the spirit within sought revenge. The Crying Boy painting remains one of the most frightening and enigmatic objects in modern folklore. A simple portrait, yet it carries the weight of so many untold horrors. The Black Orloff Diamond is a gem as beautiful as it is cursed. Legend has it that the Black Orloff was once the eye of a sacred statue of the Hindu god Brahma in Pondicherry, India. It was said to bestow divine power and protection. However, when the diamond was pried from the statue, it unleashed a curse that would follow it for centuries. The diamond first emerged in the hands of a monk who met a mysterious and untimely death. It then passed through the hands of various owners, each encountering their own ill-fated demise. The diamond's dark allure led it to Russia where it was owned by two Russian princesses, Nadia Vigan Orlov and Leonila Galitsine Baryatinsky. Princess Nadia, who gave the gem its name, was the first to fall victim. In 1947, she leapt to her death from a building in Rome, clutching the diamond. Not long after, Princess Leonila met a similar fate, hurling herself from a balcony in a fit of despair. The diamond's next owner, J.W. Paris, a New York diamond dealer brought the gem to the United States. Soon after, he too fell victim, taking his own life by jumping from a skyscraper in 1932. Each owner, drawn by its dark beauty, paid the ultimate price. In a desperate attempt to break the curse, the diamond was recut into three smaller gems. The hope was that dividing the stone would diminish its malevolent power. Today, the Black Orlov Diamond resides in a private collection, its ominous history a testament to the legends that have followed it through time. 
The legendary Book of Thoth, a tome said to contain the mysteries of the gods, is a manuscript so powerful it is said to drive men to madness and doom. According to legend, the Book of Thoth was penned by Thoth, the Egyptian god of writing, magic, and wisdom. This mythical text is believed to grant its reader the ability to communicate with animals, perceive the thoughts of the gods, and even control the elements. However, such knowledge comes at a dire cost. The book was said to be hidden within a series of locked chests, buried deep in the sands of ancient Egypt, protected by curses and traps designed to ward off the unworthy. One tale recounts the fate of Prince Neferkapta, who unearthed the book after a long and perilous search. Neferkapta's discovery brought forth calamity. The prince, unable to resist the allure of the book's promises, read its pages. Soon after, tragedy struck. His wife and son drowned mysteriously in the Nile, and Neferkapta himself was driven to madness and ultimately death. It is said that the book was buried with Neferkapta in his tomb, guarded by his vengeful spirit. Those who dared to seek the Book of Thoth after him faced terrifying consequences. Many explorers and archaeologists have reported strange occurrences, sudden illnesses, inexplicable accidents, and ghostly apparitions. In the early 20th century, an expedition led by Sir William Petrie aimed to find the fabled book. Despite meticulous planning, the expedition met with disaster. Members of the team fell ill, their health rapidly deteriorating. Whether it truly exists or not, its legend serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers that lie in seeking knowledge. In the cold, silent heart of the Alps, a figure lay hidden for over five millennia, preserved in ice and shrouded in mystery. Discovered in 1991, Utzi the Iceman became one of the most significant archaeological finds of the 20th century. Utzi's mummified remains were found by hikers Helmut and Erika Simon at the border between Austria and Italy, encased in a glacier. He had lain undisturbed since around 3300 BCE, his body astonishingly well preserved by the ice. Scientists soon discovered that Utzi had met a violent end with an arrowhead lodged in his shoulder and signs of head trauma. The first to fall victim to the so-called Iceman's Curse was Dr. Helmut Simon himself. In 2004, he died in a freak accident while hiking in the same mountains where he had made his historic find. Just hours after Simon's funeral, the head of the rescue team that had found his body, Dieter Varnecke, died of a heart attack at the age of 45. Next was Dr. Rainer Henn, a forensic pathologist who had placed Otzi in a body bag. He was killed in a car accident on his way to give a lecture about the Iceman. Shortly thereafter, Conrad Spindler, the first scientist to examine Otzi's remains, succumbed to multiple sclerosis. The list of victims continued to grow. Kurt Fritz, the mountain guide who led the team to Otzi's final resting place, was killed in an avalanche. And Rainer Holtz, a filmmaker who documented Otzi's removal, died of a brain tumor. The chilling pattern was hard to ignore. Seven individuals directly linked to the Iceman's discovery and study had met untimely and often violent deaths. Coincidence or something more sinister? England's haunted history teaches us the curse of Busby Stoop Chair. The story begins in the early 18th century with a man named Thomas Busby, a notorious criminal, Busby was sentenced to death. Legend has it that Busby's final request was to have a drink at his favorite pub, sitting in his favorite chair. As he was led away to his execution, he cursed the chair, declaring that anyone who sat in it would soon meet their death. Over the centuries, the Busby stoop chair became an object of fascination and fear. Numerous accounts of sudden deaths and tragic accidents linked to the chair have been recorded. During World War II, airmen from a nearby base who sat in the chair never returned from their missions. Local workmen and visitors who dared to sit in it met untimely deaths, often in violent or mysterious circumstances. One of the most chilling incidents involved a delivery man in the 1970s. 
After sitting in the chair, he lost control of his vehicle and crashed, dying instantly. The chair's reputation grew so fearsome that the pub owner finally donated it to the Thirsk Museum, where it was hung high on a wall to prevent anyone from sitting in it ever again. As our journey through the shadowy corridors of cursed history comes to an end, we hope these tales of misfortune and mystery have both intrigued and unsettled you. From ancient relics to modern-day mysteries, these artifacts remind us of the thin veil between the known and the unknown. We thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you enjoyed this dive into the darker side of history, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to uncover and share these eerie tales. Until next time, stay curious and beware of the shadows.